announcement. Two of pro wrestling's biggest powerhouses coming together to give you an event like you've never seen before. And sent shockwaves through professional wrestling. This is about the undisputed elite. Hey! Bullet Club! It's the pay-per-view event the world has been waiting for. AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling presents Forbidden Door. Live Sunday, June 26th on Pay-Per-View. Hello, everyone. Welcome to AEW Dark Elevation. I'm Excalibur, joined by the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, and the governor, and me, a go go, Mark Henry, for some inexplicable reason, waving to a camera that's not on him. I don't know why. The opening contest is a tag team match, except for one fall, with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Oakton, Virginia, Serena D. This is a very interesting pairing. As a tag team, you have two wrestlers that respect one another, Mark, but don't necessarily like one another. Yeah, we saw this last week, and I'll tell you what, it, it turned into a battle of I can do better than you. Serena D teaming with the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Mercedes Martinez to open us off here tonight. And her tag team partner from Brass City CT. She is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Mercedes Martinez. Anthony, Mercedes Martinez is the type of wrestler, the type of athlete, the type of champion that commands respect from any locker room she walks into. 100% Excalibur, she's the champ. Look at that belt around the way, she's the champ. The champ's in the house. And she will be teaming with Serena Deeb, one of the most dangerous professional wrestlers, regardless of weight class, regardless of division. And their opponents already in the ring, the team of Heather Reckless and Tootie Lynn. Heather Reckless and Tootie Lynn are gonna have their work cut out for them against two of the most experienced competitors in all of women's professional wrestling art. A dramatic step up in the caliber of the opponent. So I'm looking forward to seeing them get on them and stay on them. You know, your rookies tend to kind of, you know, not, not be aggressive. You know, like, like you are. Oh, come on. I mean, from what I'm hearing. Sure, sure. Uh, I hear you're a very aggressive guy. Well. Oh, Tootie getting the, the admiration from the crowd right up front. And then before this match gets too far underway, we'd like to thank our official partner, DraftKings. And tonight, anyone can play free for $10,000 in DraftKings AEW Forbidden Door Pool. Download the DraftKings app, use code DARK when you sign up and play free tonight. Serena D with early advantage, ghetto clutch here on Tootie Lynn. No, reverses into a cross arm breaker. And this is why Serena Deeb is known as the professor of professional wrestling. Serena Deeb is so good. I mean this wholeheartedly. She's one of the best wrestlers, not female wrestlers, the best wrestlers on the planet. No and doubt about it. I, I, I was there when she first started. And from, the first, from day one, she had the ambition to want to learn more and more every week. And Serena. Oh, look at this. Mercedes Martinez calling for it. Yeah, that's for Oh, she gets waved off. And that's that's really been the, the story of this team between Serena and Mercedes. There's there's the respect, but also there's just that that animosity of, of two high-level competitors. Definitely. Yeah. Knock off you, Mark. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sitting here watching these two, the interaction between them. And you know what, man? I expect that. Oh, look at this force tag. Yeah, Mercedes Martinez, the blind tag in on Serena Deep. Serena didn't realize it, but instead, now look at this. Mercedes with the cross face, the abdominal stretch on Heather Reckless from Serena Deep. Inadvertently, some great tag team work out of these two, Anthony. Yeah, and look how Serena, she dug her elbow into, uh, oh. into the ribs. And now Serena. Finally lets go. Well, Mercedes has that cross face locked in on Tootie Lynn. And this is, uh, this is a very deep water for Tootie Lynn to be in here. Yeah, she, and you see Dee reluctantly getting out of the ring, looking at Mercedes like, what are you doing? She was like, you had your chance. 
Wow. Mercedes putting the pressure on Tutti Leno. Tutti escapes off the shoulder of Mercedes and makes the tag out to her partner. Heather Reckless seeing her first legal action of the ring. Oh, kick to the midsection, kick to the outside thighs, and a drop kick to the knee. Drops the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Ingenzi Gary there from Heather Reckless. Hmm. Talking about board. Heather Reckless, heck, Reckless abandoned. Oh, 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 what a spine buster. And that's the hallmark of a great champion, Anthony. Mercedes Martinez can turn the tone of the match on a dime. 15, 20 years experience, she's the champ. There's a reason why she wears that belt so proudly around her waist. She is the champ. Mercedes oh, the were teamwork. Yeah, leaping elbow. Oh, maybe it was some teamwork just to, to bait Mercedes into the corner so Serena could get the blind tag. Oh. That, that looked like exactly what happened. I, I was about to say teamwork makes the dream work, but this is becoming a nightmare for right. Judy Lynn and Heather Reckless. Oh! Single foot drop kick across the jaw of Heather Reckless, and this is kind of that one-upsmanship you were talking about earlier, Mark. Yeah, and, and oh, she's in a bad predicament right now. Heather Reckless is, yeah, and oh, look at that, Serena, deep. Almost decapitated. One-up womanship, Excalibur. Yes, pardon me, Anthony, pardon me. And Serena, thank you, Governor. Brings Heather Reckless in, looking perhaps for the deep tox right oh. there. And no urgency on the cover, though. Well, that's that's not her style. She, she's a she's one of those predators that like to pick the bone. Yeah, she has poise. She don't want to just rush into a finish. She wants to, oh, man. Tootie Lynn tempo. came in, got a boot to the midsection, and now Mercedes Martinez with Tootie Lynn down, Heather Reckless down on the grip of Serena Deeb. Serena turns the corner, locks in the serenity lock, oh, and Mercedes oh. Martinez, the Brass City sleeper, we've got stereo tap outs. The winners of this match by submission, the team of Serena Deeb and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Mercedes Martinez. They planned that. that that's teamwork at a level that it had to be planned. Well, here we see the deep talks. This is the beginning of the end for Heather Reckless. And there we see Mercedes Martinez, Serena Deeb, the stereo submission holds to finish the match. These two may not like each other, but they respect each other, and they are a hell of a tag team here in AEW. AEW fans, with DraftKings Sportsbook, everyone can join a free-to-play pool for AEW's next big event. Just answer questions about what will happen and win a share of $10,000. And new Sportsbook customers can get $100 in free bets instantly. Win or lose, just bet $1 separate from AEW's next big event to cash in. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, sign up with the promo code, enter the free-to-play pool, and make it rain with an official partner of AEW. What a match we got coming up next here on AEW Dark Elevation. Andrade, El Idolo goes one-on-one -on -one with Frankie Kazarian. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Jose, the assistant, from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing 241 pounds, Andrade, El Idolo. This is Andrade El Idolo's return to singles action for the first time since the coffin match with Darby Allen, of course, a few days back at Dynamite. Andrade entered the Casino Battle Royale as the Joker, and he very nearly advanced to face John Moxley to find out who would move on to the main event of Forbidden Door to compete for the interim AEW World Championship. But now Andrade back in action here tonight. And of course, at double or nothing, Andrade had the bombshell announcement that he had drafted his old tag team partner, one of the best wrestlers in all of Mexico, Roosh El Toro Blanco, to come fight at Andrade's side here in AEW.
and his opponent from Yucca Valley, California, weighing 216 pounds, Frankie Kazarian! Wow, all this fire out here. I should have brought hot dogs. And before this match gets underway, I want to remind everybody that in August, AEW will be making our debut in Columbus, Ohio, on Wednesday, August 3rd, at the Schottenstein Center at the Ohio State University. And don't miss our return to Charleston, West Virginia, Wednesday, August 17th, at the Charleston Coliseum. Tickets for both events on sale right now, AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. Man, go get those tickets. Tickets went on sale this past Friday, and they are going fast. Our Columbus debut, our return to Charleston for the first time in over three years, for nearly three years, but still. Right now, this is a... Uh, oh, man, this is, big, this is big entertainment right here. Two really seasoned, really athletic. Look at Andrade. Andrade is, is getting bigger. He's, he's going to be a super heavyweight soon. To a shoving match, collar and elbow top, and and Mark, I think this is. Oh wait, here cover roll up there by Andrade. Wow, that was quick. This is the type of match that you would call the uh, monitor sellout. Oh yeah, I know all the guys are at the monitor in the back watching. Oh. Frankie is so well versed in the wrestling arts, and so is Andrade. This is going to be a banger, Mark, an absolute banger. Is that what they call it in, that's in, what, in that's, England? That's what the kids say, Mark, an absolute banger. Absolute banger. Well, and Anthony, I mean, you have you have two men that are highly respected veterans, but two men that are also maybe a little little prickly in the in their interactions with the people backstage. At least in my experience. A, a bit, well, man, everyone's prickly to you. No. But uh, listen, uh, they're they're veterans, as you said, but they're still at, at the top of their game. You know, they're at the top of their game. This is if if my maths. They're, they're not past. They're not over the hill. No, man, they're at the top of their game. They're on it. If my math serves me correctly, as I think Ooh. it always does, this Did you is see that? That's a big, big tackle. This is Frankie's uh, 105th match in AEW. That's a, a big milestone. Not many men have crossed the century mark here in ring competition. And remember, Frankie Kazarian, after that nice series of side headlock takeovers, Frank Kazarian is part of the inaugural AEW World Tag Team Champions alongside Scorpio Sky, so he knows what it takes to make it to the top here in AEW. Wow, did you see him grab Andrade's wrist and try to get a try to get a pin? Look at that's that's old school amateur wrestling at his best. Well, that's of course Frankie Kazarian, a student of the great killer Kowalski, and really uh, two different two dueling ideologies of professional wrestling. You have Frank Kazarian, the traditional American style. Of Wrestling, whereas Andrade, of course, the the great roots in the lucha libre techniques, in Mexico City. Oh, and Andrade goes to the floor hard. That was more on the lucha side. <laughs> yeah, Andrade, I don't think was expecting that out of Frankie. And Anthony, maybe that's uh, that's Frankie's technique. Keep your opponent guessing. Yeah. Oh, oh nice man. move. Nice move. Frankie is bringing the people in. The fans love him. Oh, Jose. Oh, assist. wait a minute. Puts his body. In the path of Frank Kazarian, he's calling for a timeout. Jose, he's doing his job. Yeah, he bought he bought Andrade some some time to recover. And oh, oh. Frankie face there is no. I thought it was face first, but instead it looked like his shoulder actually struck that steel ring post. Yeah. The thing about Andrade, right? In, in pro wrestling, we have we have categories. We've got wrestlers, we've got athletes, we've got stars. Andrade is an absolute star. Well, he checks, I would, I would say, all three of those boxes, Anthony. I mean, he he has what it takes to reach the top, and now the big boot right into the face of Frank Kazarian. Yeah, Jose needs to stay out of this match. I mean, there's no timeouts in wrestling. He's interfered twice now. Yeah, referee Aubrey Edwards. Oh, oh, watch with oh. the nipple. Ouch. And you see that? Looked like uh, Frank Kazarian was on roller skates there. One elbow strike dropped Frankie, and he was scrambling. Man, you hear this crowd, those chops are fierce. And Andrade, you can tell just by his demeanor, he's confident. He realizes that he is in the driver's seat. Man, a kick right to the ear. You know, oh, that's the worst. Two. And you saw Frankie, he, he came up clutching his cheek, maybe his orbital bone. And Anthony, I mean, you could tell, I mean, you could speak to how dangerous an orbital injury can be. Yeah, I know a thing or two about orbital fractures, Excalibur. Um, great, great maneuver that Andrade's got on right now. He's really trying to, I guess, dislocate that shoulder. Yeah, turn that elbow, too, into a Kimura right there. But 
Frankie is trying to always maintain getting his chest to his where his wrist is. And, and bring, look at look at Frankie those those heel kicks from behind. Oh. It wasn't just in. It wasn't the the prettiest technique, but it was effective because it got Andrade to relinquish the submission hold. And yeah, that's most experience. Good. That's yeah. the experience you get. Do whatever it takes. Andrade once again back at Frankie up to the ropes, the hammer throw. Frankie puts on the brakes inside cradle oh, there. Inside. One, two. Try to catch Andrade sleeping. And Frankie, oh, look at that crucifix bomb. Two, no. Wow. This is living up to all its expectations this match. Yeah, I mean, it's a sellout in the back. And as you can see, the people filing in. Oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh, a lethal size 30. Frankie was stringing together some offense right there, but Andrade, one boot, shut Frankie's momentum down. And Andrade was looking for that El Idolo, that hammerlock DDT, but Frankie had it scouted, and he just muscled Andrade into the corner. Kind of got a stalemate right here. Oh, he, those uh, high boots are game changers by Andrade. Yeah, he that's about the third or fourth one that he's thrown out there, and he's hit Frankie with a hundred percent. It speaks volumes of how tough Frankie is. He's got he's got a great chin. Yeah, he certainly does. But Andrade as well. But right now, Frankie once again stringing together a combination. They're thrown to the ropes, reverse, and Frankie comes back the flying elbow strike. Well, you know what they say, a cage and a cornered animal is the, is the most dangerous one. And right then, Frankie was in the corner. Oh, Frankie. And now he's fighting his way out. Turns Andrade inside out. Just a two count, though, for Kazarian. Yeah, he tripped in the referee. Aubrey Edwards is going to have to get control of this. That's the third time now. It's, it's so tough for the referee. You want to keep your eye on the action, but then you have somebody on the floor inter interfering in a matchup. Anthony, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Nah, mate. Nah. He is a clean wrestler. Anthony is, 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 is salt of the earth. Oh, no, I wouldn't you, say that, but... Uh, oh! oh, 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 oh. It was like a hip toss combined with a power slam and a nasty landing in the corner for Frankie Kazarian. I think he caught his Achilles on that bottom rope as well. Yeah, those, uh, as we always mentioned, rope is, is a misnomer. Those are high-tension steel cables. Those are extremely oh. dangerous. And Andrade comes in, the crushing knees in the corner. Andrade, the hook, and Kazarian able to kick out. You know, in a veteran move, you always get a cover. You're always trying to win. And both of these men have delivered serious damage to the other competitor, and they always try to win. And this has been an extremely physical matchup, a slugfest, if you will. And now Andrade El Idolo. Oh, what is he doing? Maybe think it's split-legged moonsault, or perhaps something else, but Kazari not giving him the chance. Cuts off Andrade's momentum as he heads to the top. No. Kazarian ate three consecutive shots there and the ropes from Andrade, but Kazarian returns. Oh. This is very dangerous territory for both men. Kazarian brings so Andrade good. out to center. Japanese Ocean Cyclone suplex two. No. Oh. Oh. Almost that was, had that it. That was close, guys. And Andrade, I think Andrade's trying to psych himself up. He knows he was on the verge of getting beat, Anthony. On the verge. Freddie Kazarian has really impressed me tonight. I think all of you, can, as you can hear from the crowd, you're not the only one in this building that's impressed. Andrade hits the ropes, but Frankie hits him with an elbow strike. Frankie hits the ropes, comes back, ducks the contact, soul butt to the midsection, knee lift. Andrade backed up to the corner. Wait, Andrade, the backbreaker. Ooh. And just flatlined Frankie face first on that top turnbuckle pad. Now Here we go. The hammerlock is in. El Idolo, center of the ring. Andrade, far leg hook, and scores the win. What a contest. The winner of this match, Andrade El Idolo. This lived up to every bit of the expectations. And it Incredible match here tonight, and Anthony really could have gone either way. It really could. Um, we've just watched an AEW Dark Elevation Classic for sure. Man, 
such a near fall that led right into Andrade's finish. Andrade, El Idolo, victorious tonight in St. Louis. Wednesday on TBS. With a game-changing forbidden door event less than a week away, Malachi Black faces Penta Oscuro in the All-Atlantic Qualifier. Plus, Orange Cassidy and Rapongi Vice take on Aussie Open with Will Ospreay. Oh! AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS. Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir, the odd couple, team up to take on Heidi Howitzer and Max the Impaler next. Contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Washington, D.C., the native beast, Nyla Rose. Well, in our opening contest, we had one odd couple in tag team action that was very successful. Speaking of Serena Deeb and Mercedes Martinez, and now here once again, two of the meanest members of the AEW locker room, Nyla Rose and the problem, Marina Shafir in tag team action. Go on. And her tag team partner from Moldova, the problem, Marina Shafir. We will see if these two can get on the same page. But coming up on this Wednesday night, AEW will be making our return to Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the UWM Panther Arena. That's this Wednesday, June 22nd, and then later this summer, we'll be returning to Rochester, New York at the Blue Cross Arena on Wednesday, July 6th. Tickets for both events on sale right now. AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. And you see Marina Shafir, just all business. And their opponents already in the ring, the team of Heidi Howitzer and Max the Impaler. Mark, we saw both of these competitors, Heidi Howitzer and Max the Impaler, in action last week here on AEW Dark Elevation, and both very impressive and perhaps a problem for the problem in the Native Beast. I don't know. Did you just see the stare down between Nyla Rose and Max the Impaler? Well, last week, Anthony, we saw Nyla Rose pick up a victory over Max the Impaler and could be Max's opportunity for revenge here tonight. Yeah, it could be, but I don't think so. Uh, Nyla Rose, <laughs> it's not, I'll, I'll call a spade a spade. Nyla Rose, is, the native beast is that, an absolute beast. Anthony, dude, look at this. Oh, Max look caught the right this. hand of Nyla Rose. You said you don't think so. Look this at, is not. Whoa. This is not going to be an easy walk down the street. There's a reason. Oh, I don't say it's going to be easy, but there's a reason why Nyla Rose was the second women's champion in AW. She's fantastic. And talk about fantastic. Because I've, I've boxed in Moldova many times. They're tough as nails. Marina Shafir is a tough, tough, tough woman. Yeah, Marina Shafir started practicing judo at a very young age, and now looking to get her hips underneath her opponent. And now, oh no! Instead. Goes on to the back of Max the Impaler, trying to put Max to sleep. And has the jaw and the arm, the overhook on the arm. Can Max the Impaler use their strength to fight out of this? Yeah, Max just makes it over to the corner. Honey Howitzer with the tag in. Use that turnbuckle as a weapon, too. I always said, if you grab him, find something sharp and run him into it. Oh, Heidi Howitzer. Whoa. Overhand chop, now double overhand chops. Marina Shafir in trouble here. And she's in trouble. She's definitely in trouble. She tried a move that normally it would work on a normal person, but she tried that on Max and Pele. Yeah, Max, a completely different type yeah. of athlete than I think Marina Shafir may have been prepared for. But now this team of Max and Heidi Howitzer have isolated Marina Shafir. And I mean, Mark, if they score the win. I mean, this is definitely an upset. Not only is it an upset, but this this would be this would be one of those matches that people will remember for a long time because these these women are not like they're always attacking each other. This this is this is not a common occurrence. But that's a heads up move there by Marina Shafir, realizing that she is in jeopardy. Gets the tag out to the more experienced Nyla Rose and Nyla. 
Clubbering down on Max the Impaler, but Max backs up Nyla into the corner. Marina Shafir, the blind tag and the right hand to the, it up. to the ribs and the kidneys. And Anthony, those shots that you don't see coming, those are the worst ones. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You get. Oh, oh fantastic move. Diamond dust there by Nyla Rose. Oh, oh. and a kick to the side of the head. And Marina Shafir, once again, working over the lower back of Max the Impaler. Heidi Howitzer there in to, to break up the pin, even before the one count. And Referee's Howitzer. distracted. This is a really good match, chaps. A really, really good match. High action. High action. And, well, a little bit of miscommunication there by Max and Heidi Howitzer. Just goes to show how physical this one has been. And look at Marina. Oh, oh wait, Marina oh, Shafir. What is this? She locks in that submission. She calls it greedy because she's got so many different body parts all timed up, tied up. And Heidi Howitzer is tapping out. And Nyla oh. Rose comes in. Holy cuts cow. Off Max the Impaler. Wow. The winners of this match by submission, the team of Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir. The referee didn't see it. Bryce, Bryce didn't see the... Yeah, he had his eyes on, on eye to eye with Heidi Howitzer. He missed the tap out, but Nyla Rose came in and intervened to make sure that she and Marina Shafir got the win. I'm an anomaly. I'm gender fluid, I'm trans feminine. There's not many people like me <laughs> in wrestling at all. I don't think I'm probably the first of my kind. I just want everyone to know that there's nothing more beautiful than being yourself. Finding yourself and being exactly who you are unapologetically, that's when you have power. And don't let anyone tell you that you aren't or that you can't because it's possible and I'm living proof. Swerve in our glory. Swerve Strickland, Keith Lee in tag team action next here on Dark Elevation. with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 559 pounds, the team of Swerve Strickland and Limitless Keith Lee, Swerve in our glory. Well, this is a very, very interesting matchup. Not just because Swerve Strickland and Keith Lee are a successful tag team, but thinking back to what happened in the Casino Battle Royale a few days ago. Oh, you, you left them hanging. At Dynamite, when Swerve Strickland eliminated limitless Keith Lee from that match, it took away his opportunity to become interim AEW World Champion. Isn't that right, Anthony? Wow. That's right, that's right, champ. Listen, mate, I've got to go. I've got a text from the boss, QT Marshall. We've got a big match later against the match side there. I'm going to go, got a game together. Chaps, have a good one. Good night, oh. God bless. All right, well, thank you, Anthony. Thank, that's thank very, you for joining us. The Ducks could have, could have left in between matches, but that's neither here nor there. Wow. I guess it's just going on, Mark. Jeez. Did you see coming down the ramp? Some tension between Swerve and our glory. And their opponents already in the ring, the team of Davey Vega and Matt Fitches. Good luck, boys. Well, hopefully, Things turn out better for Vega and Fitchett than it did when they faced the team of Jay Lethal and they debuting. Yeah. Satnam Singh, seven foot four, one in a billion. Yeah, this is not this is not good. Uh, there's tension between Twer Swerve and and Keith Lee and and understandably so. I mean, they, there was an opportunity to become the interim AEW World Championship on the line and Swerve Strickland eliminated his partner from that battle royal. Yeah, that, that wasn't a good move, but even more so, Keith Lee is not let it go. He's still holding on to that. No, obviously, yeah, weighing on Keith Lee, but Swerve in there right now, Davy Vega, now that T. Harris takes down Vega, and backs Vega up to the corner, shoulder in the midsection. Let's see how this tension goes, because you know, like sometimes when you're on the wrong page, it can affect your game. A lot of support 
for Swerve Strickland and Keith Lee individually here, but maybe not so much as a tag team. Oh, uh, they're, they're trying to talk about it now. This is not, this is not the place to talk about it. Big Vega was looking for that tag, makes uh, the tag out to Matt Fitchett. And Fitchett lands the elbow strike to the jaw of Swerve Strickland. Yeah, just after he actually front rolled and flipped him into that. And the sent on with the assist by Fitchett. Fitchett the lateral press. Just a one count though, Swerve Strickland able to kick out. Well, he's, he's a tough guy. He's got the ring awareness of a 20 year vet. And remember, this team of Swerve and Our Glory, they were just uh, competing for the AEW World Tag Team Championship just a few weeks ago at Double or Nothing. Yeah, of course, like we said, you know, they, they're on the wrong page, though, even since then. And I mean, really, I think Swerve's got to take a lot of that, that blame on himself. He's got he's to hold himself accountable for that, for what happened at a Casino Battle Royale. Oh, takes out wow, Vega. inside out. The drop kick by Fitchett. Back Swerve up to the rope. And Oh, Swerve, though, just grabs the head of Fitchett. And tag is made by Keith Lee. I don't think Matt Fitchett realizes it. He just got knocked out of the air. Whoa, they love some Keith Lee. This might be the time for Swerve to say, listen, man, I'm, I'm sorry for what happened last week or two weeks ago. Oh, Keith Lee. Pancakes Vega in the corner. And, uh-oh, a huge peel sending Vega right into Fitchett. Fitchett didn't even see it coming. Hey, wait a minute, there's a man flying. Oh, Keith Lee, the oh. power bomb. And now, we're gonna see the, the swerve stomp. No, it's just a big spirit bomb from Keith Lee. He covers one, two, three. And the message is sent to Swerve Strickland. The winners of this match, the team of Swerve Strickland and Limitless Keith Lee, Swerve in our glory. Whoa. Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland successful victorious here tonight, but obviously, Mark, a lot of issues for these two men to work out. Yeah, that Swerve is trying to apologize, and Keith is reluctantly giving him a pound, but doesn't look doesn't look like this is going to be resolved tonight. Now, maybe not tonight, but hopefully sometime in the near future, because Swerve and Keith, Swerve in our glory. One of the great, promising tag teams here in our burgeoning division in AEW. It's the announcement. Two of pro wrestling's biggest powerhouses coming together to give you an event like you've never seen before. That sent shockwaves through professional wrestling. And this is about the undisputed elite. It's the pay-per-view event the world has been waiting for. AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling presents Forbidden Door. Live Sunday, June 26th on Pay-Per-View. Anna J of the Dark Order goes one-on-one -on -one with Rebel here next on AEW Dark Elevation. Dark Order, 
from Brunswick, Georgia, Anna J. And before this match gets underway, I want to remind you that in six days' time, AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling present Forbidden Door. You can buy the pay-per-view event now on Bleacher Report and watch live this Sunday, June 26th, 8 p.m. Eastern. Also, the Forbidden Door buy-in kicking off 7 p.m. Eastern, AEW's YouTube channel this Sunday. What a week of action. We are starting here tonight in all elite wrestling. Why do you throw it up? I mean, you know. Oh, because I was. Not, you're not a fan of Dark Order? No, I was. I was reading this promo. Oh, okay, that's right. I was occupied. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. I'll, maybe I'll. Every time I'm reading a promo, I'll. I'll do the Dark Order salute just out of. How, what, about, what, how about I just do it for both of us? Oh, that's actually. I mean, your arm's much bigger than mine. So. Side headlock take over there Ooh. by Anna J. Bringing Rebel down. Rebel scissors the leg. Anna though kicks the legs, gets back up to her feet. Rebel grabs that side headlock. Anna says Rebel, and oh, look at this, Anna. No, look at that scoop slam. Rebel blocked it. Yeah, in. let her know. Jaw jacking with Anna. Oh, oh. and knee the midsection. She's not just an accessory for Dr. Britt Baker. Vertical suplex, though. Anna J lands on her feet, and then, oh! oh! oh, oh. You talk about getting kicked in the mush. The kick and the Queen Slayer locked in. Rebel with no choice but to tap out. Holy hell! Your winner by submission, Anna J. Wow, Anna J. <laughs> picking up one of the shortest victories, the quickest victories in the women's division here in AEW. An absolutely dominant performance there by Anna J. Was it the kick or the choke? I think it was a combination of uh, combination of both. A little from column A, a little from column B. But regardless, Anna J victorious tonight on Dark Elevation. The premier athlete Tony Nese in singles action next here on AEW Dark Elevation. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Smart Mark Sterling from Strong Island, New York, weighing 224 pounds, the premier athlete, Tony Nee. And as the premier athlete makes his way to the ring, I want to remind everyone that AEW will be returning to Georgia next month. First with our debut in Savannah, Georgia on Wednesday, July 13th at the End Market Arena. And then one week later, we'll be returning to the Atlanta area, the Gas South Arena in Duluth, Georgia on Wednesday, July 20th. Tickets for both events on sale right now. AEWTIX.com. Smart Mark Sterling's got a neck brace on. Um... Well, I mean, you know, Sterling was representing Wardlow in that class, or excuse me, representing the, the plaintiffs against uh, Wardlow in that class action lawsuit for the Arena, uh, American Arena Professional Association, something like that, Security Professionals, Security. ASP. Yeah. His opponent already in the ring, Warhorse. Whoa, look at that. Big reaction for Warhorse who We've seen compete here a handful of times in AEW. Somebody that claims he's here to rule ass, Mark. Well, I, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna silently just bow out of that one. No response. Mm -hmm. Nope, not gonna say it. Big I'm, reaction here for Warhorse, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say that Tony needs look, is looking in the tip of tippiest top shape mm -hmm. right now. It's not. Not the self-styled premier athlete for nothing. As he extends the hand to Warhorse. Why is this crowd? Oh, oh well, a, maybe that's a why. Shot across the throat. I was gonna say, why is the crowd not wanting him to shake his hand? He's a good guy. And Tony Nice elevates up and over the top Warhorse. You see the recoil sending him back into the ring. Tony Nice not wasting any time. He's taking it to him. All of those kicks in the corner, taxing the lungs, taxing the breathing 
of Warhorse and really taking them out of this match before Warhorse even had an opportunity to get out of the gates. Yeah, that's, that's a good strategy, though. The man can't breathe, he can't fight. And Nice, once again, that knee into the midsection of Warhorse, but Warhorse comes in, takes wow, Nice off his feet. Warhorse sends Nice into the corner. No, Nice reverses. Warhorse sent in. Oh, big boot right to the face. Nice backed up towards center. Warhorse, oh! Spent too much time appealing to the crowd here in St. Louis, and Tony Nice took advantage. Tony, the referee told him to bring him down. Tony Nice is going to do it one way or another. Look at the strength by Warhorse. We see how strong Tony Nice is. And that headbutt to the side of the head. Have you ever seen a flying horse? Uh, one time in Germany, but I'll talk more about that oh. later. Big missile drop kick there. We just saw one right now. And Warhorse psyching himself up, headbanging there in the corner. And Warhorse charges oh. in, close line in the corner on Nice. Tony Nice in trouble. Yeah, Nice is in serious trouble. This would be a uh oh, here we go. Huge we upset, but no, Nice, oh, look at that. Dirty. Grabbing dog. the nose. Rolls through on Warhorse, oh. the soul butt to the jaw. And that spun Warhorse for a loop. Now Tony Nice comes oh. in. The running knee wow. in the corner. And the lights go out. Nice with the win. Brother, how close was that? The winner of this match, Tony Nice. Tony Nice has an incredible win-loss record on the year, so that would have been a massive upset if Warhorse were able to pull it off. Wow, what an unbelievable oh, that knee strike! Top, that knee. pinpoint accuracy by the premier athlete Tony Nice, right on the chin. Tony Nice, that's what victory looks like with Smart Mark Sterling in his corner, victorious here tonight. Destination unknown, Ruby Soho goes one-on-one -on -one with Miranda Gordy next. The following contest is set for one call with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Olympia, Indiana, Ruby. Always a great reaction for Ruby Soho when she arrives here in the arena. Definitely one of the fan favorites. And Ruby with a chance to, oh! oh! Wait a second, Wait a Miranda Gordy. The kick to the back of the head as Ruby Soho was making her entrance. And Miranda Gordy trying to make a statement here tonight, Mark. Well, I'm trying to make, I think she just made one. That she's not gonna wait on seeing Ruby Soho parade around. Oh, but Ruby is like, takes that. Big combination there by Ruby Soho. And Miranda Gordy, the second generation wrestler, her father, the late great Terry Gordy. And Miranda. She does the worst and just smiles. Yeah, trying to make the most of this opportunity in there against Ruby Soho. Oh, wow. ho, ho, what a shot. Miranda Gordy firing that shoulder to the midsection and a right hand across the jaw. And Ruby, Ruby so had a block. Yeah, Ruby got the, the, the hands up, blocked it, and chopped down on Gordy. Now firing those elbow strikes, backing Gordy up towards center. Gordy, Long weight class. The shove, and Ruby, though, really leaned into oh. that elbow strike. And she baited Miranda Gordy in, did Ruby Soho. That Ruby is, is counter punching here. Hey, sometimes you gotta like take what you can get, and if the counter is all you got, use it. Oh, Ruby Soho. Saito suplex. Plants Miranda Gordy. And now Ruby with the opportunity to head up to the top rope. Crowd's all in for it. But Miranda up to her feet. How tough is Miranda Gordy? To take it on the chin like that and to be able to have the resilience to get up, 
And look at the power. Fireman Scooping Carey. Ruby up. By Miranda Gordy. Ruby kicking the legs. Gets down to her feet. And Ruby Soho comes through that back heel trip. Drives Miranda Gordy down to the mat. And now Ruby Soho brings Miranda Gordy around. And this could be destination unknown. Center of the ring. The far leg hooked. And Ruby Soho gets the win. The winner of this match, Ruby Soho. Mark, a lot of credit due to Miranda Gordy trying to get the jump start on Ruby Soho, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bring a lot more than a jump start if you want to score a victory over somebody as talented as Ruby Soho. Yeah, Ruby is just you know the competition was just too great tonight. Ruby Soho back on the winning track here in all what elite elevation. Wrestling. The Factory's QT Marshall with Nick Camarado and Aaron Solo in his corner takes on the high-flying Matt Seidel in our main event next. Your Elevation main event is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by The Factory, from Freehold, New Jersey, weighing 235 pounds, QT Marshall. Well, we thought it was only gonna be Aaron Solo and Nick Camarado with QT, but apparently this was the business that Anthony Agogo, the governor, had to attend to, and it was so important that he leave the commentary booth. Yeah, uh, I got a question for you. Can music make you nauseous? Every I time I so. hear QT's music, I get nauseous. Well, actually, I don't hear QT's music. I, I hear the producer counting me down in my ear. We're about two seconds away from the next music. It was more like three, but you know, yeah, close. Give or take a second. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing 186 pounds, Matt Seidel. Wow, that felt good. Yeah, great reaction for Matt Seidel here at the Chaffetz Arena, home of the Billikens. And uh, finally, I understand the reference from uh, Billy Ken Kidd from Osaka Pro Wrestling, but I digress, Mark. You know, I, I, I didn't get it either, but I do now. And before our main event gets underway, I want to remind everybody that next week, AEW will be making our debut in the state of Michigan, specifically downtown Detroit, the Little Caesars Arena for Blood and Guts, Wednesday, June 29th. Tickets are available right now at AEWTAX.com. And then in August, we'll be headed to the other side of the state, Western Michigan and Grand Rapids for Rampage and Battle of the Belts, Friday, August 5th at the Van Andel Arena. Tickets on sale for that event, AEWTAX.com, Ticketmaster.com. Wow, big fight feel. Yeah, this has been a jam-packed edition of Elevation we've had here tonight. All leading into this, the main event. Oh, I've heard that before somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. To get you a T-shirt on shop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Seidel turns QT to the corner. Nice drop step there by QT to get behind Seidel. QT snatches the side headlock, floats oh, around. He's just being fancy. Now. He's the hammerlock. Off. But you know what? You know who could be fancy too? Matt Seidel. He's waiting, and then comes through the flying mare there by Matt Seidel. Chop to the chest, backs QT up to the ropes. Seidel comes around the T. Harris takes down QT Marshall. Matt Seidel is a long way from gone and being done. This dude's got more gas in the tank than anybody is wrestling today. I think that Matt Seidel is one of the guys that really, really has a chance to show this world of AEW that he's got a lot left. Well, and you know, I mean, to Seidel's credit, he's somebody that has constantly reinvented himself throughout the years. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning of his career, primarily known as a high flyer, then adding some of those, uh, oh wait, looking for the slice, he's got QT locked up, slice center of the ring. The leg is hooked, QT able to kick out. You know what, that was a good job by QT, because he could have really 
ate it right there. Standing Mark wow, Posa look there. At that. Matt Seidel, that's the high flying offense I was speaking about. And then Matt Seidel, early on in his career, went to uh, Dragon Gate promotion in Japan on excursion. That's where he picked up some of the more impactful techniques we see him use. Some of the kicks, the 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 high velocity offense, and then took too long. Yeah, he, he was spending a little too much time soaking in the uh, the appreciation for the fans here in his hometown of St. Louis. Oh, look at the counter! And the leg Larry drops QT Marshall. Seidel once he again got him right here, looking for a cover. And this is important by Seidel because even though he's not going to, he knows he might not score the victory after the leg layer, he's forcing QT Marshall to exert energy. Yeah, I mean, you, you always want to get a cover. Oh, 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 QT, he's such a low down, dirty dog. Exactly what you said. QT Marshall. That's a blatant choke, ref. Oh, and oh, Aaron Solo. And this is what I was talking about earlier. The factory, Aaron Solo, Nick Camarado, Anthony Agogo, and QT Marshall included, they are masters of taking advantage when the referee's back is turned. Yeah, the referee can... That was for you. The referee told QT... Lateral hey, press here. Choke. And, you know, Anthony Agogo liked to, liked to plead ignorance earlier tonight, but... Obviously, that's not the case. The factory is just to, to now. I think we know what they were talking about. Yeah. QT though, very, very confident, very collected, as he places the knee right between the shoulder blades of Matt Seidel. Seidel though, is triple tough. Not a. You don't stay around the world of professional wrestling for 20 years without being tough, being durable, salty. Being, being salty. QT's kind of leading him by the ear right now. Oh, wait a minute. Seidel transitions in midair. Oh, man, that was close. To the sunset flip. QT wasn't expecting it in Seidel. Did you see how, how QT, his leg is buckling under the power of those kicks? Yeah, those nerve kicks, man. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. So Aaron Solo. Held the leg of Seidel. Seidel went for the leg lariat again, and QT caught him and dropped him down the backbreaker. You know, I know it's none of my business. My job is okay. to call cover, this. Cover here. Two. But that made me want to hit the ring. QT gets under my skin. Well, I mean, this is essentially a handicap match for Matt Seidel. He's got he's to deal with the three factory members on the outside as well as QT Marshall on inside the ring. Yeah, the referee's going to have to keep his head on the swivel. Well, it's tough when you when you have somebody as savvy as QT Marshall. He's bringing the referee's attention back towards the center, but Seidel, good counter there. He huh. teamed QT over the top rope. That was a nice knee strike. And, oh, look at Camarado. And look at that. You see QT, he's grabbing the referee's shirt, but now finally... Oh, he caught him! Stephon he caught him! Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe... Got him. Stephon Smith caught the interference on the outside, and he has ejected the factory from ringside. This is like Christmas. And this is the opportunity Matt Seidel needed. Oh, QT. Overzealous there. Landed face first on the top Come turnbuckle. On, Seidel. Meteora. I know I'm not supposed to take a side, but I can't help it. QT Marshall got planted, and Matt Seidel though comes up clutching that left leg after the Meteora. Uh, come on, Matt. Can Seidel fight through the pain? Another uh, shopping kick to the leg, that one to the chest. And then Matt Seidel, the rolling right solo button. button. QT Marshall reverses Seidel into the rope. Seidel puts on the brakes, the kick to the chest, the roundhouse kick. QT Marshall in serious trouble here. Matt Seidel. Goes across the ring and the low drop kick across the jaw. One, it's a cover. two, no. Man, you know, as, as much as we criticize QT for his antics, he is a tough SOB. He certainly is. And I mean, QT 
is somebody that doesn't doesn't have to rely on all these tricks behind the referee's back. He has all the natural abilities, but he's just yeah. he takes these shortcuts for some reason. Well, because he's a lowdown, dirty oh, dog. Wait. That's Matt, why. Matt Seidel was looking for the lightning spiral there. If he had hit that, it would have been the end of the night for QT, but QT. He's calling for it. Lands that powerful right hand and now setting Seidel up for the diamond cutter, but QT. Backslide. Maybe it telegraphed it. QT able to kick out of the backslide again. The kick. Working on those legs. Chop the tree long enough, it will fall. QT went for the lariat, but instead oh. he baited Seidel in. He popped him up, hit that elbow strike to the jaw. Elbow pads off. And now, what does QT Marshall have in mind? He brings Seidel up. Seidel reverses Hork on Rona. Hook it. The hooks are in deep. And yeah. Seidel yeah. the win. Let's go, St. Louis. The winner of this match, Matt Seidel. What a win here tonight in our main event. Seidel comes down with the Meteora and then reverses the Brain Buster attempt into the deep hook. Hork on Rana and scores the win in front of his hometown. Thank you for joining us here tonight on AEW Dark Elevation. We'll see you tomorrow night for Dark right here on YouTube. And then Wednesday night on Dynamite on TBS. Thank you, Excalibur. Thank you, Mark Henry. Thank you, Dasha Gonzalez. Thank you, Matt Seidel. Wednesday on TBS. With a game-changing forbidden door event less than a week away. Malachi Black faces Penta Oscuro in the All-Atlantic Qualifier. Plus, Orange Cassidy and Rapongi Vice take on Aussie Open with Will Ospreay. Oh. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS.